Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, we should be very motivated and jubilated today because we made it to the day of Arafah. This is the best day of all days, out of all days of the year, out of all days of all time. This is the best day. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Allah bless us to make it on this day. On this day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah, chapter 5, verse 3. In chapter, chapter 5, verse 3, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed on the day of Arafah, chapter 5, verse 3. Allah states, I hope to be shaitan al-rajim. This day, I have perfected for you your deen and completed for you my favor and have chosen for you Islam as your deen. On the day of Arafah, on the day of knowing, of knowing who your Lord is, knowing what your deen is, knowing what your soul's about. Allah Ta'ala revealed this ayah on this day. This day, I have perfected for you your deen. I have perfected for you your transaction, your relationship, your bargain, your amana, your trust with Allah Ta'ala. I have perfected for you your deen and completed for you my favor. My favor of guiding you to the Salat of Mustaqeen. He said, and verily I will send messengers with the Huda to guide you. And those who follow that Huda, they will be guided and protected from the Jahannam, protected from the hellfire. But those who do not follow that guidance, they'll be in the hellfire with Shaitan. So on the day of Arafah, Allah revealed this ayah. And we're told that this is one of the last ayats that Allah Ta'ala revealed in 80 days after this ayat was revealed that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died. Imam Malik said that when this ayat was revealed, it meant that everything that was deemed at that time is deemed today. Whatever was deemed at that time is deemed today. I have perfected for you your deen, completed upon you my favor, and chosen for you Islam as your deen. So Alhamdulillah, this was revealed on the day of Arafah. Islam has been completed on this day. This is a blessed day. This is a day of maqfira. This is a day of forgiveness. This is a day of making tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa This is a day of making dua to Allah subhanahu wa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that those who fast on this day of Arafah, and inshallah, everybody's fasting on this day. Those who don't have the opportunity to fast, may inshallah give sadaqah on this day. Do good deeds on this day. Shake hands on this day. Smile on this day. Be a good ibad today, insha'Allah. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that those who are able to fast on this day, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, you'll be forgiven of two years of sins. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Two years of sins. There is no mercy better than this mercy. Allah is ar-Rahman, ar-Rahim. Two years of sins. Do not allow this day to pass you by. Do not allow this day to lose out of your hands or lose out of your, lose the grasp of this day. Take advantage of this day. Even if you feel that you may have messed up at the beginning of this day, man, the rest of the day, man, play it out to the best of your ability. Do the best that you can do on this day. On this day of Arafah, what are we supposed to do? The best dua on the day of Arafah is La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la shikrahu, lahul buku wa lahul ham, we should say this all day. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. With His oneness, the one who has no partners. And to Him is the dominion of the heavens and the earth. And to Him is the hamd. And to Him is the praise. And to Him is the shukr. And upon all things, He has control of all things. The qadr is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا إله إلا الله لا شريك له له البكر وله الهم وهو على كل شيء قدير. The best du'a, the best saying for this day on the day of Arafah. We should say it all day. لا إله إلا الله له لا شريك له له البكر وله الهم وهو على كل شيء قدير. We're told in the Hadith that one who says it a hundred times, that all of his sins will be forgiven, even if they're like the foam in the ocean. But on this day of Arafah, this is the best du'a to do. We don't know what the reward for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, what the ajr for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on this day. So increasing your dhikr today, increasing your subhanallah, increasing your alhamdulillah, increasing your la ilaha illallah, wa allahu akbar, whatever dhikr you may have, your best du'as, your best dhikrs. Today is the day of du'a. 
calling out to Allah subhanahu wa and have yaqeen with your dua. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, one who makes dua of Allah subhanahu wa that dua is certain to be answered. One or three things happens when you make dua to Allah subhanahu wa with yaqeen. The first thing you must understand is when you make dua to Allah subhanahu wa you must have yaqeen. You must believe that Allah subhanahu wa will answer that dua. Don't have doubt with that dua. When you make that dua to Allah subhanahu wa and we understand that Allah is sami'a dua. He's the hearer of dua. A sami'a dua. The hearer of dua. He tells you that's one of his names. He's the hearer of dua. So therefore, when we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa we must believe it with yaqeen that he will answer that dua. We're told in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa that when we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa one or three things will happen. Either one, Allah subhanahu wa will answer that dua. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa will reserve that dua for the Jannah. He'll reserve it for you in the Jannah. Right? Or number three, he'll use it for an expiation of one of your deeds, of one of your bad sins. So when you make dua to Allah subhanahu wa understand that there's always benefit in the dua. But have yaqeen when you make that dua. Allah is Samia dua. He's the hearer of dua. The best thing that you could do is make dua. Dua is like a sword. We're told that dua is like a sword. Something sharp, right? The dua is a sword. The dua is the thing that can wrestle with other. We know that other is something that's already written. But when you make dua, dua can change other. Today is the day of dua. Use your best du'as for today, your strongest du'as for today, your most sincere du'as to today, your most sincere asking of forgiveness. Whatever du'as you know, make those du'as on this day. The best du'as are the du'as of the Qur'an. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسْنَا وَفِي الْآكِرَةِ حَسْنَا وَكِنَا عَذَابَ O oh Allah, give us good in this life, good in the next life, and save us from the punishment of the fire. رَبَّنَا وَعْفُ أَنَّا وَقْفِرَنَا وَرْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا فَانْسُونَا أَلَى الْكَامِ الْكَافِرِينَ Whatever du'a you want to say, whatever du'as, the best du'as or the du'as of the Qur'an, make your best of du'as. Be sincere in your du'a. Ask Allah for forgiveness. Allah would have said that we'll be forgiven of two years of sins. We're told on the day of Arafah that Allah, Allah comes closest to the heavens. He comes to the lowest heavens on the day of Arafah. We're told that Allah subhanahu wa comes to the lowest heaven on the day of Arafah. He said, who is it that will ask of me? Who is it that will ask of me? This is the day that Allah subhanahu wa releases many people from the hellfire. No day like this day that many people are removed from the hellfire. You might have been destined for the hellfire. You might have been the those that were going to the hellfire. But because of this day, because you made it to this day, but because you made dua on this day, you made tawbah on this day, you made a stuck vote on this day, Allah removed you from the hellfire. Make your best dua today. Ask Allah for forgiveness of your sins. Ask Allah to bless you with yaqeen. Ask Allah to bless you with taqwa. Ask Allah to make your feet firmly rooted in this deen. Ya muqarribul qulub, tabbit qawbi ala deenik. And be sincere with that dua. Ya muqarribul qulub, O changer of the heart. O changer of the heart, O Samiyah Dua, the one who hears Dua, Ya Muqalibul Qulub, Tabbit Qalbi Ala Deenik, make my heart firmly rooted in this Deen, Ya Allah, Be Rahmatik, Ya Allah, Ameen, make your hardest Dua's today, make your firmest Dua's today, make your most sincerest Dua's today. O Allah, bless us with forgiveness of our sins. O Allah, bless us to be of those who follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. O oh Allah, blessed to be among the shakirin. Blessed to be of those who are appreciative that you bless us to be Muslim. O oh Allah, blessed to be of those who are the appreciative one of the shakirin, of being of the ummah of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O oh Allah, blessed to be of those who are thankful that you bless us to be of those who have possession of the Quran. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. O oh Allah, blessed to be of those who are appreciative that you blessed to have possession or knowledge of the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah, O Rabbil Alameen. O oh Allah, blessed to love the Sahabas. O oh Allah, blessed to be among the Sabiqeen, the Sabiqeen. Right? The Sabiqeen and Awaloon. Mina Muhajirin wal Ansar. Walladina Dabauhum bi Asar. O oh Allah, blessed to be among like the Sahabas, the Muhajirin and Ansar. Blessed to follow them in their actions. 
Oh Allah, blessed to be of those who follow the Salaf of Salihin. Blessed to be of those who follow the first three generations. Blessed to follow the Sahabas, the Tabi'een, and the Tabi'een. -tabi blessed to love their way and try to inculcate it into our heart. Ya Muqallib al Qulub, Tabil Qawmi al Dini, your deen. This deen that you say you have perfected, this deen that you have chosen for us, the deen of Islam, and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he was told, or when he told the Sahabas, what is Islam, or what is the Sirat al Mustaqim? Because every day, multiple times, we say, If it is Sirat al Mustaqim, O Allah, God is to the Sirat al Mustaqim. God is to the straight path, Ya Allah. Right? This is a dua. Surah so, Fatiha is a dua. If it is Sirat al Mustaqim, Ya Allah, what is the Sirat al Mustaqim? O Allah, God is to the path of Islam. That straight path, Islam. And at the head of that path is the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But on the side of these paths you have shayateen trying to take you off the Surah of the Mustaqeen. So Allah protect us from shaitan and the shayateen. Ya Allah. Ameen. Oh Allah protect us from our nafs. For verily the nafs it is inclined to do su. Our carnal desires it is inclined to do evil except by the rahmah of Allah. Oh Allah bless us with your rahmah. Oh Allah, bless us with your mercy. Allah says, I will be lying in the shaitan of a gene. Wa ati Allah, wa rasul la kutur hamun. Wa ati Allah, wa rasul la kutur hamun. Obey Allah, meaning the Quran. And the messenger, meaning the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So that you may be of those who attain Allah's rahmah. So thus Allah, bless us with your rahmah. Bless us to follow the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Again, ya muqallib al Bless my heart to be firmly rooted on your deen. Not on my nafs. Not on my pseudo thinking. Not on my pseudo intelligence. But Ya Allah, bless my feet to be firmly rooted on your deen. What is your deen? The deen of Islam. Allah says he's Maliki Yomik Deen. He's the king, the authority of the day of deen, the day of judgment. The day that you pay back Allah, your debt. What is your debt that you pay back to Allah? You pay back that Islam. You pay back that submission. On the day of judgment, Allah will only ask you, what was your deen like? What was your ibadah like? What was your obedience like? You won't have nothing to give Allah. You won't have no money. You won't have no possessions. You won't have no car. You won't have no clothes. You won't even have your beauty that you thought you had unless Allah bless you with that beauty on that day. The only thing that you have to give to Allah Subhanahu is your amina salihat, your good deeds, your ta'a, your obedience to Allah Subhanahu Oh Allah, bless us to strive for the akhirah and divorce ourselves from this dunya. These are the best du'as to make. Ali Ranan, he had the eyes of taqwa. And he asked him, oh Ali, what is it that gives you this taqwa? He said, man, I divorce myself from this dunya. Ya Allah, bless us to be like Ali, O oh Allah, bless us to be like the Sahabas, bless us to be like Umar, Al Khattab, bless us to be like Ibn Mas'ud, Abu Dhar, bless us to be like Ibn Mas'ud, bless us to be like Al Khalid, Al Khalid bin Walid, bless us to be like Balal, bless us to be like all the predominant Sahabas, those that were blessed, those who have beautiful characteristics. Those who have beautiful uh, positions in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, bless us to be like them. Bless us to love them. Bless us to follow them. Bless us to try to emulate like them. Ya Allah. Ya muqallab al qulub Tabit qawmi ala deen. Oh Allah, make our hearts firmly rooted in this deen. The deen of Islam. And follow those that were the best in this deen. The Sahabas. Right? The Muhajirin and the Ansar. And those who followed them in his sign. Bless us to be like them. So today is the day of Arafah. Today is the day that Allah Subhanahu wa comes closest to the heavens, the lowest heavens, and asks, who is it that will ask of me? What is it that you need? What do we need from Allah? We need Allah's Rahmah. We need Allah's mercy. We need Allah's forgiveness. We need Allah's Tawbah. We need safety from the fire. We need safety from the grave. These are the things that we need from Allah Subhanahu wa What is it that we need to ask for? Allah says he comes to the lowest of the heavens. It says, what is it that you need on this day? What is it that you want on this day? May we want rahmah from Allah. 
We want entered into the Jannah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want entered into the Firdaus from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, forgive us of our sins. Wa'afu anna waqfirunana warhamna anta maulana fansunna ala al kafirin. What do we want? We want Allah to protect us from the disbelieving people. We want Allah to remove this villa from us. What is this villa? This shame, this humiliation from turning from the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us in these days right now. A lot of things going on, a lot of killing, a lot of debauchery, a lot of turning away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a lot of shirk, a lot of taghoots. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what? Protect us from the qawm al-kafirin. What else do we want? We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from this dunya. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from our nafs. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from shaitan. Whatever dua that you choose to make on this day of the day of Arafah, make it throughout the day, right? Don't be stingy with yourself on this day and the day of Arafah. You might not get this day ever again. But we're told by some of the shiyuk that if you fast on the day of Arafah, there's a secret in fasting on the day of Arafah because you're forgiven of, the sin, of your sins of the year before and the following year, your future year, which means that, inshallah, you'll be alive for another year. So inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to increase in our good deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us by answering our dua again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Samia dua. He's the hearer of dua. On this day of Arafah, it's the time to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best of your duas. Whatever your dua may be, O oh Allah, save my mother from the fire. O oh Allah, guide my mother to the Salah of the Mustaqeen. Some of us have family members that are not Muslim. The best du'as of today. Do you want to save your family from a fire whose fuel is made of stone? Make du'a for your family members then. O oh Allah, save my mother from the fire. O oh Allah, save my father from the fire. O oh Allah, save my brother from the fire. O oh Allah, save my whole family from the fire on this day. Why? He samia dua. Oh Allah, protect our brothers and sisters, kuli makan, all over the world that are going through trials and tribulations through fitness that we can't even understand because we're in this locality, right? It's one thing to be there, it's one thing to hear about something, but it's another thing to be actually going through it. We see many things on TV, sometimes we become desensitized about certain things. We become desensitized about certain things. So therefore, we don't understand the reality of certain things. So may Allah be blessed to be sincere, even in our du'as, for the people that are around the world, inshallah. We'll continue after the break, inshallah. Ameen.